After a shorter than expected break between the first Android 12 beta, beta 2 is now available and ready to download. So we hope that you're ready to dive into yet more new features and changes in what promises to be the biggest UI overhaul in years. Today's video is sponsored by NVIDIA GeForce Now, the cloud gaming platform that can effectively transform any laptop, desktop, Chromebook, smartphone or tablet into a gaming rig without needing to go and build a PC from scratch. GeForce Now lets you access your existing game libraries from Steam, Epic Games and more, meaning you can enjoy some of your favourite titles seamlessly across all of your hardware. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about how GeForce Now can get you gaming on every device you own. As far as this, the second Android 12 user face in beta is concerned, there is a ton to unpack and it appears very stable on the surface, but we can't guarantee things will be perfect for you. So we would say proceed with caution if you haven't yet installed on your device. But with that said, let's get into it. A major focus area for Android 12 Beta 2 is in the quick settings panel. This is where almost all of the most notable and instantly visible changes are coming and there are plenty to unpack here. Firstly, cards and passes is being split up and with one section being known as wallet, along with smart home controls, which both now live as a toggle within the quick settings panel. This replaces the power button long press activation method that was introduced with Android 11, but it also separates the two distinct sections and makes the process a little less messy, albeit slightly slower to access. Tapping either will just expand these menus out accordingly. When using the Wi-Fi toggle or the internet toggle as it is now known, this will show a small pop-up menu that will save having to dip into the full internet settings page. You'll see a few available networks and your current SIM connection status here too. There is also a power button that you can find when fully expanding out the quick settings panel. Tapping will just launch the power menu, which is another area on the receiving end of an overhaul in Android 12 Beta 2. Of course, often overlooked, the power menu is also on the receiving end of some pretty major changes with Android 12 Beta 2. Instead of being directly tied to the physical power button by standard, the power menu now lives behind a quick settings panel toggle that will initiate a floating window. If you have hold for assistant disabled, a regular power button press will bring up this new menu though. Instead of taking up the full screen and fully obscuring whatever you're viewing, the power menu now just pops over your screen with four large and distinct buttons including emergency, lockdown, power off and restart. It's not groundbreaking, but it is more cohesive with the material you're theming. The huge wallpaper based theming that has been teased, leaked and then confirmed by Google at IO 2021 is now officially live in Android 12 Beta 2. So as soon as your pixel reboots into this latest build, you'll quickly notice where all of the color matching options start to make a difference with your UI look and feel. The setting appears to be activated by default and will naturally pull from whatever wallpaper you have set on your device. Prominent areas where you'll immediately see this functionality include the quick settings and notification panels, as well as the auto scaling lock screen clock and even the pin entry screen when proceeding to unlock your phone. At the moment, it doesn't look as though you can disable wallpaper based theming, but we're hoping that this isn't the case in future builds. As while it is nice, we can agree that some people will prefer more precise theming controls. That said, having a theme tied to your wallpaper is quite a neat cohesive option. One of the core tenets of Android 12 is enhanced privacy controls. In Android 12 Beta 2, we're getting a first proper taste of these added controls and how they will work. The new privacy dashboard is effectively a single page that shows what apps are using your permissions on your device over the course of a day. A pie chart or ring gives you a quick visual indicator of to what permissions and device sensors have been accessed over the previous 24 hours. System apps are actually left out of this chart by default, but you can toggle this on if you want a true picture of what apps are accessing specific areas of your device. It's also worth noting that pre-installed apps such as Google Messages and Maps will automatically be included. Tied in with Privacy Dashboard are new quick settings toggles that can block the camera and microphone system wide, even for built-in apps like the camera app. Another major part of this enhanced privacy suite includes camera and microphone usage indicators though. When using apps that have access to your camera, microphone or both simultaneously, a status bar indicator in the upper right of your display will now inform you when they are being accessed or used. This is similar to how iOS handles access to on-device hardware such as the microphone or camera too. But like iOS, the icon will minimize to a small dot in the upper right of your display after the initial pop-up so that you can know what app is accessing on-device hardware. Thankfully, Google has ditched the comically massive bubble design on the volume slider controls in favor of a more svelte side panel. 
The updated design slims down the volume bar and puts it in a floating white or black window. Any subsequent sliders, such as for the casting to a device, show up next to the regular volume slider. The downside here is that only one can be interacted with at once though. The media player is also getting more tweaks in Android 12 Beta 2. Firstly, the colour of the player is now more closely tied to the material you theme in. Not fully, but it will be a shade or two lighter for greater prominence. While the actual player is now also substantially smaller with some button rearrangement to account for the overall smaller profile. With the loss of cards and passes in favour of wallet, Google has added a new lock screen quick toggle to help you make NFC payments even faster than before. If you've updated to Android 12 Beta 2 and can't see the wallet shortcut on your lock screen, it's worth noting that you can actually activate the quick toggle by heading to settings, display, lock screen and show wallet. All of your Google Pay cards and loyalty cards or coupons will live here. When making a payment, you just need to unlock your device for security purposes. It's easy to see why this new toggle has arrived as it provides a greater visual indicator that Google Pay is available from your lock screen. Sure, this isn't a groundbreaking move, but it's a neat one all the same and turns a two-step process into a single button press. That is, provided you're in the settings menu. I'll admit that it probably won't be that much of a time saver if you're not in the right place, but by heading to settings, network and internet and internet, you'll see a small wrench with a reversed arrow in the top right of your screen. Pressing will just reset your current connection settings and provides a refresh to all of your Wi-Fi and network settings when using Android 12 Beta 2. Once your device is refreshed, it will just reconnect to the most recently used or preferred local network. Your favorite Pixel Launcher widget is no stranger to tweaks and changes, and the text on the at a glance widget has been changed again. And considering this is a big deal to some people, the slightly bolder text has returned. Expect Google though to change it again in future, just like every time before. So from what you've seen thus far, what is your favorite new feature or indeed features in Android 12 Beta 2? Let us know down in the comment section below. And if this video say manages to reach 3000 likes, we'll also share another set of our exclusive Android 12 Beta wallpapers. So be sure to share this video with as many people as possible. Until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later. 9to5Google is sponsored by NVIDIA GeForce Now, which lets you play PC games completely free in the cloud across all of your devices. Or you can join the paid for subscription tier to get access to RTX graphics featuring the latest ray tracing technology, longer gaming sessions and better overall performance. If you want to learn more, then head to the link in the description or check out NVIDIA's GeForce Now Thursdays, which celebrate and highlight the latest releases, news and all things cloud gaming each and every week. And thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring 95 Google here on YouTube.